Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Fire Panda Warrior Xiong Fei, obviously a, a fusion monster, and asking ourselves two questions. One, is he worth fusing? And two, if so, where can I use him? And uh, a qu and, uh, I guess a third question, how do you build him? Which we'll answer all of those in this video. So obviously you could fuse this guy. I recommend fusing all of these units. All of them have their own particular use. Some of them, like the Water Phoenix Sigmars, and I believe the Valkyrie here, aren't exactly the most uh, important, especially if you're like me where you do PvE. But I think you should still build all of them. You never know. But um, anyways, Xiongfei. So first off, we'll talk about his speed stat because I think that's one of the most important ones. It, it, it's not the craziest but you're gonna be probably using this guy in PvE I could tell you cuz I again I haven't built so uh, it's it's okay right he has 10k HP which I like and then 823 base defense which is also good he does have a defense leader skill where he increases the defense of ally monsters by 33 percent so starting off with this first skill se sequential attack attacks the enemy three times with each strike having a 30 percent chance to Decrease the target's defense for two turns, and then the harmful effect rate goes up when you fully skill him up. Um, this is good. A multi-hit uh, defense decrease. Already, off the bat, you'll notice that through his skills, every single one of his attacking skills are multi-hits, which, off the rip, I could tell you is going to be good for places like the Dark uh, Rift Beast, which I know some of you probably need to do the Dark Rift Beast, and you're like, oh, what units can I use? This guy. I mean, this guy, you're going to build him really tanky. I can tell you off the bat, you're going to build him tanky, and you have tons of multi-hits. So, defense break is also good. So, you could this could also, potentially, you could use him in uh, Rift Raid. I know I use him in Rift Raid. I could do, like, I auto uh, Rift Raid 4. Like, I have three, I, I built three teams, so I could do it by myself, because I got no fucking friends. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, I have him on one of my teams, and he performs well. Um, skill 2. Removes the harmful effects granted on all allies. And recovers their HP by 15% each turn for two turns. So he puts a, a heal buff on your team. Which, no matter what, and unless it gets stripped off, they heal every turn. In addition, you will counterattack whenever you're attacked for two turns. And this is every five turns except when fully skilled up I be believe it's every three turns when fully skilled up so that's good and again when these with these two combined he's definitely a dark rift beast unit when you place this counterattack for those of you who don't know when a unit counterattacks they always use their first skill right I think most of you guys do know that but just in case you don't they use their first skill every time so in the dark rift beast if he's getting attacked which he will be attacked he can counterattack and uh, do tons of multi-hits, well, which will help with the Dark Rift Beast. I'll make a video on the Dark Rift Beast soon. But um, that's good. Plus, a pretty much a passive heal, almost. Uh, a passive heal for your entire team, right? He's going to place the heal buff on everyone, and they'll heal every time they take a turn. So I can also see this being good for the Wind Rift Beast. And since he is a, a fire attribute, you know, he's going to be able to uh, help the team a lot. So third skill is called, by the way, the second kill, uh, skill is called Calm Mind. Uh, third skill is called Panda Supremacy. Attacks the enemy four times, again a multi-hit, good for Dark Rift Beast. Each attack will grant HP uh, recur, uh, oh my god, recovery disturb, glancing hit rate increase, attack power decrease, and attack speed decrease for two turns with a 70% chance, respectively. The inflicted damage is proportionate to your defense, and the damage increases by 20% per harmful effect granted on the enemy. And this goes from every 5 turns to 3 turns when fully skilled up. I believe so. Um, obviously, I have mine skilled up. I, I, I don't want to wait any longer. I mean, obviously he has tons of debuffs here, which is good. Um, but I want to hurry up and get into the build, because the build may surprise y'all what I built him on. But I built him on two different builds, so we'll talk about that. But just... Let's get into uh, the monster screen and look at my, my Xiong Fei. 
So here we are. Here's my Zhang Fei. Here are his stats. You can see that I aimed for three things. Speed, defense, and HP. Now his HP isn't crazy, but his defense sure is. I mean, 1,384 bonus defense, 101 bonus speed, and 15,000 bonus HP. His accuracy is meh, but to be honest, when you're in the beast, or in, in the in Rift Beast, which is probably where we're going to use him the most in this video. In fact, that's probably the only place we're going to use him. Is uh, it, It's not going to matter about your accuracy. Because more likely than anything, um, unless you don't have a defense breaker. I mean, I, I guess it's good to have all these because you're probably going to use Crow in a lot of your teams. But it's like you're probably going to have Crow, which is going to... Or, or, or a defense breaker, which is going to land it. You're not going to be worried about him landing his debuffs. Because most of the fight anyways won't allow you to land debuffs. So you really want him to be fast. So he's taking turns quick, quickly enough. And getting these off. All of these off. And uh, super tanky so he can actually take damage. Um, so his accuracy isn't too high. His resistance is meh. I did have him on a damage build before. But I switched him off. Here are his runes. Violent Energy. Before I had him on Swift Blade. And believe it or not, he wasn't as fast on Swift Blade, so I really tried hard with these runes. So, these runes might be a little... I think they're good. They could be grinded out, but uh, I'm waiting for the update to start worrying about grinding. Because <laughs> that update that's coming is going to make everything so easy. But uh, here is slot 1. Speed. Tons of speed. HP percent, resistance, and obviously accuracy is pretty good. It's really good, actually. Um, Speed. Slot 2. On any unit that you're going to have support your team, especially with healing or counter, even with counter attacking, I guess. But um, with healing and debuffs, you want speed. Uh, if he never takes his turn, he, I, I think you guys get the point. You want tons of speed on him. Not tons and tons, but enough to where he's taking a reasonable amount of turns in the beasts. But uh, his substats, flat HP, defense percent, resistance percent, and HP percent. Um, so... For subsets, I mean you could you can aim for speed, defense, resistance, HP percent, and obviously the flat stats for HP and defense, depending on what you feel like you need. Um, but maybe go accuracy over the flat stats. But I'm fine with flat stats. So this one, speed plus 15, which is really good. Defense percent, accuracy, resistance. Slot four, uh, HP percent. Most people might go like two double defense percent but I think if you're going to go defense percent on a unit go HP percent slot 4 or, or or 6 and then go defense percent on the other slot like you have to have a good mix doesn't matter how much defense you have if you have 0 HP I mean whatever right <laughs> accuracy percent speed defense percent which I rolled and then grinded so I don't know you think that's good <laughs> and then attack percent which I'll just keep it whatever um, this one is speed, flat defense, defense percent, and then flat attack. Um, could I? I don't want to convert it to really anything. Um, if I were to convert that, that'd be HP percent maybe, or something else. Accuracy, who knows. But uh, energy rune defense percent, slot 6, speed, HP percent, flat HP, and then accuracy percent. So, pretty good, right? And then... His two artifacts are both double defense. So I could have went with HP, sacrificed, like, what was that, 200? Sacrificed 200 defense and get him more HP. But I prefer for him to have some defense. So here are his skills. He's fully skilled up. So skill 2 is every 3 turns. And the skill 3 is every 3 turns. Now you're like, why did you go all the way into skill 1 with the devil mons? Because when I was feeding him devil mons, it literally went all into skill 1 first. It didn't go a single thing into any of these, I believe, if I recall. It was after this went 6 for 6 that it started going into these. So, there you go. But, yeah, it doesn't hurt. So, what we're going to do is uh, we'll probably go to the Wind Beast first. Yeah, we'll probably go to the Wind Beast first. See how he performs there. And then, uh, regardless if we win or lose. And then, from there, we'll go into the Dark Rift Beast. And then, we might call it there. So, let's go. Okay, so here we are in the uh, Wind Beast. Now, let me explain my team. Obviously, I just have him here for the sake of being here, Varuna. I mean, Varuna, 
can get out tons of damage. He's, I mean, I, he, I don't think I've really seen too much gameplay of him from like other YouTubers, but I don't watch too much Summoner's War content, so whatever. But I, I use him here, and he does an okay job. I, I, I don't know. You guys can determine that. Obviously, the Phoenix has a great uh, attack lead, plus he can get out some damage. He has his passive heal, and then he also revives, so attack, crit damage, attack. I should probably get him like on Violent, because Violent would help with extra heals, plus speed, crit damage, attack, but we have the damage. Um, Iragar, which I believe I made a video on. If not, I'll make a video on him soon, but speed, crit damage, attack. He's not exactly the fastest. I want him to be way faster, though. We have Verd here to help push turns just to get it out as much healing as possible. Um, the Wind, uh, Yeti, Rakaja, he's a good unit. Some people will tell you, hey, don't even bother building him. I think you should build him. Speed, defense, defense. So he actually gets a lot of his HP percent from his substats, which is why I have him on so much defense. So he gets 10k HP plus he has this. So he could get even more HP if he wanted. I need I need to get him on a proper set. We'll do that some other time. So, but he 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 his third skill does healing based off of the number of allies, which we have six allies here. So there's gonna be tons of healing. But I'm scared. Let's see. Will this team actually do it, or am I bad at making teams? We'll see. So a quick reminder for anyone who hasn't done the light or not the light, but the wind, uh, wind beast. The Wind Beast, the Wind Rift Beast, uh, will do his little shock thing. And if you don't get the shock off, he will obviously deal increased damage. The way you get it off is by uh, healing. So, obviously you want units that can heal. So, there we go. I could probably replace Varuna with Crow, but... So he landed all of his debuffs. Defense break. By the way, I'm sorry this is loud. Let me uh, decrease the volume. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Hopefully you can. So they're doing okay. I might try Ver uh, replacing Veruna with Crow. But I'm trying to look for any reason to use the Asuras. <laughs> so there we go. This is really a, 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 a Rakaja fucking spotlight. <laughs> we need him to place his counterattack thing. But it's fine. He's going to do his second skill right now. No, he's not. Oh, there. Okay, he is. So, boom. He took pretty decent damage. I mean... The rocket jaw really outlasted him. Oh, here it is though. Yikes. That didn't look good. But he counterattacked. Panda Supremacy, Calm Mind. Not exactly the craziest team. But his counterattacks really do help. So they did it. It, it, <laughs> it counts. He took tons of damage. I mean, his Calm Mind thing is really good. What would be uh, probably a better team... Here, we'll, I want to try one something. This might not work, but we'll put Crow in the back instead of Varuna. And we could put Colleen, maybe? Um, Rakajaw is really helpful. I don't know if Co Colleen is probably not as good. Don't look at my units. Guys, close your eyes. Don't look at my units. Um, People might say Velo Jewel, but I took runes off of him, so you don't got nothing. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, can we throw Kali in here? Kali would probably do some crazy damage, wouldn't she? No, we'll, we'll do that in a different video. <laughs> Colleen Spotlight. <laughs> Here, we'll try this. We'll try with Colleen. I, I don't think this will work. I think they're going to die. Colleen just has significantly like less heals. But she's fire, so... It's all about getting tons of damage out, ain't it? 
yeah, I mean, we got tons of health health down. Maybe Varun ain't that good. Maybe I need to take Varun his runes off. Let's see how this run goes. Varun, I'm taking your runes off. <laughs> I'm taking his freaking runes off. What a fucking <laughs> what a what the hell? <laughs> Oh, dang, okay. I kind of like how the Panda Warrior is going off a bit. Okay, he's put Calm Mind, so he'll counterattack. Why? <laughs> dang, okay, he's procking. Everyone wastes their freaking heals. Okay. Colleen, you freaking nut job. Colleen is dead, ain't she? Yeah, she died. She had so again you'll you'll take damage by the way. Um every time you uh take your turn or whatever. Or if you have the shock on, you'll take damage. So this didn't exactly work out crazy. Um There's no way. Yeah. The damage is too great. We could try one more thing. I'm, ugh, I'm essentially building you guys free teams. Just be grateful. <laughs> be grapefruit, okay? Um, ooh, we got a rainbow on. We'll just put the rocket jaw back in. Where is he? He's near the front. Yeah, I have to remember that. Um, he's near the front. So maybe we get out tons of damage. We have an attack buff from the vampire. I need to speed him up. That's my problem. <sighs> God, here I go having to re-ruin Iragar. Let's see. So he can His counters can be helpful. I, I mean, if you build him on some damage, that counter would be amazing. Okay, the damage is slightly lower. But that can be fixed. Like, if Iragar were faster, his buff would be on much quicker, meaning Verd would get out more damage. I mean, it, it's purely Iragar's fault, but that's also my fault, because that's the way I ruined him. Stop wasting crap, man. Okay, watch this, watch this. Rocket Jaw's gonna go crazy right now. There what did I tell you, man? Rocket Jaw oh my god, Rocket Jaw's spotlight coming soon. He's just good. He's really helpful for beginners. I mean if you can't tell me that that wasn't the most not clutched, I mean it's kinda clutch. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, no more Xiong Fei. This is Rakajaw's day. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> like that type. <laughs> okay, Rakajaw, you're making me blush. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, let's move on to the Dark Rift Beast. Okay, so here we are at the Dark Beast. Don't ask me about nothing, about anything at all. I, I was trying to think of two units to put in the front. It was either Lauren or... or I didn't want to... I wanted to kind of try Fran on but I was like you know what let me leave it alone um, let me just use what I have um, I did beforehand have her Miriam because she increases attack and defense buffs power but uh, we're gonna try Lauren in the front because she has multi hits so regardless we're gonna have multi hits I think that's obviously the biggest thing about the dark beast is you want to get in tons of hits Otherwise, your allies get locked up, and yeah, you, you'll see. Your allies will get locked up, and you need a certain amount of hits to de to you know to free them. And if you're having all these single target units, then obviously nothing helps. It, it doesn't help, right? So we have all these multi hit units. Let's go in. Let's try our best. Let's uh see how it is. Stiff. So let's see who he locks down. Okay, he locked him down. I want to try uh, switching sides. I want to try see a couple things, like how the uh, front works. But obviously, we want to get in as many hits as possible. Lauren is 
There we go. So they took him down, which is good. We do not want him using that chain. The more he uses that chain, the harder it's going to be to free our allies. But we're hoping to see him put that counter attack um, to good use. So. that we didn't get to because he used that the worst time possible okay so he's gonna get in tons of hits him and Lauren just have tons of multi hits I think he just he has slightly more and he has good defense so that's good so when he gets his next attack off we're gonna see him counter attack and t unless he procs out of it which is fine I guess um We're actually doing a pretty good job. <laughs> hey, I want to pat myself on the back. That was not that bad. <laughs> so we'll try. We'll do two more runs. Hey, there's a free team for y'all. I'll do a video soon. Don't Donut worry. Is he going to get the right side again? I want to see if there's like a pattern or is he just doing it at random? Is he just getting the person with the highest defense? What is he doing? Okay, it's at random, which means that this run could go a whole lot smoother, unless he just procs out of it. So there we go, Thorns of Despair, she counters, that's good, which means Lauren is out of her cage quicker, much quicker. Not that it matters. I think um, you should have more than one unit that counterattacks in the front. Like have two counterattacking units in the front. Preferably units that do multi hits. But again, I'll, I'll save those tips and tricks for a Dark Rift Beast video. Oh, man, I, I've been doing TOA videos and it's just been like, not sucking the life out of me, but God dang it, it's definitely, it doesn't help with creativity. <laughs> Not that I don't, I don't mind it. I know people need help with that as well. I need, I remember when I first started, I needed help with that. And I don't know if it was just a lack of searching or, or, or whatever, but it felt like I didn't get too much help with it. It was back in the day when everyone was like, hey, use basalt and, uh, the, the, god dang, it was basalt and, uh, mantura. Those are two three-star LDs. Okay, we win, because he's just going to counter. Nice, okay. We don't even need to do two more runs, or, or one more run. That was pretty good. S. Ooh. There you guys go. There's a free team. It's not free. Um, so let's go and give him his final review. Okay, so what is my final verdict on Xiong Fei? The Fire Panda Warrior. The first question we asked was, was he worth fusing? Is he worth fusing? My answer is totally. He is totally worth fusing. I, I And I, I'm, I was thinking about it a little bit. I think he should be your second fusion. Now, most people will be like, hey, you know, you need to go Veramos, then Riley, and then you can go Xiongfei, and then you go Belagir, and then you go other units. But I think he should be your second. And I can explain why. Riley is a good unit. I mean, healing, immunity, uh, just immunity, right? Okay, um, this one is cleansing plus an attack buff plus some healing. And then the totem is one of the most annoying part, but immunity, healing, attack power. Again, a very annoying unit, but while she's helpful, you don't need her early on. Xiong Fei, you could argue that you need him early on. I mean... To me, if you're a new player, your pathing should be this. Giants, Giants B10 or Abyss, preferably B10 first, and then you aim for Rift Beast. And this guy is perfect in Rift Beast. I mean, he's good for the Wind Beast and the Dark Beast, both of which I know early game player or beginners are going to have trouble with. The Wind Beast is going to be one of the hardest beasts for you guys. I, I know it is because... 
the whole healing ordeal is just so annoying. It is so annoying. I, I don't know why, but every time I create an account, or every time I, you know, I go to attempt the beast, fire beast, easy. Water beast, easy. Wind beast, it's like one of the toughest things to get done. And this guy's perfect for it. Of course, you need him to be skilled up. I doubled him. I know people are going to tell you, oh, you should fuse him. Fuse his skill ups. I don't got time to sit here and fuse 16 skill ups. I don't got enough time. Or is 16? Or is it 13? 13 skill ups. I don't got that time. Nobody got that time. But, um... I mean, somebody's got that time. <laughs> somebody's got that time. But when you do get him skilled up, he's very useful. I mean, first skill multi-hit with the with the defense break. Second skill, AoE cleanse and places an AoE uh, heal buff thingy. And he counterattacks, which helps him with the Dark Beast. And the healing helps with the Wind Beast. Plus tons of debuffs, multi-hits, and damage based off of defense. Plus he increases his damage per harmful effect, so you can build him damage. Wind Beast and Dark Beast, again, something that you're going to struggle with, he's perfect for. I recommend fusing him. You're going to use him way more over Riley. In the, in the beginning, in the beginning. After you fuse Riley, though, you'll use her everywhere because Riley is that good. But I think he might take a bit of priority over her. But uh, that's just my opinion, right? Now, the second question we asked, if so, how do we build him? I like him on Violent Energy, but you could totally go Swift Energy in the beginning. In fact, that's probably what you're going to do. Because his Violent here, his uh, Violent procs really kind of messed with our uh, with our runs. Because he procs straight out of his counterattack, which is probably not the best. But since he was procking, I mean, he was doing the damage anyway, so it's not like it mattered. But, um... Swift, energy, speed, HP, defense, percent. If you're planning on going the support route, that's what you're going to go. Speed, HP, percent, defense, percent. With speed in the subs, HP, percent in the subs, defense, percent in the subs. Then you can go accuracy or resistance last. Again, you're going to be using him riff rate. And you're not going to be able to place buffs or debuffs half the time. So his accuracy doesn't really matter. I mean, it does if you're going to use him outside of it. But you're not going to really use him too often, right? But um, you can go the damage route where you build him speed, crit damage, defense percent. Which I wouldn't argue against because his counterattacks, I mean, you're going to use it a lot. It'd be helpful for the Wind Beast, which again, you're going to use him in, help you deal a bit of damage. And helpful for the Dark Beast, help you do a little bit of damage. But in my opinion, I'm building him as a support. I think this it's best to build him as a support. Super fast, super tanky. I think that fits him. I want to know what you guys think. Um, let's take a look at maybe his st statistics. Violent Revenge. I think, in my opinion, Revenge is uh, ridiculous. But that's just me. Because he has built-in counterattack. But um, Violent Guard is really good. Violent Energy. Double Guard Focus. Energy Double Guard. Violent Will. All really good. I just don't get the Violent Revenge. I think that's a bit ridiculous. Defense slot too, yes, it works, but I prefer him to be able to take turns and uh, actually place buffs. But if you can get speed in the substats, why not? Um, defense slot four. After that, it's HP percent, then crit damage, and the same thing for slot six. People tend to go defense percent with his artifacts, which is fair enough. Let's see his usage. Rift raid, like I mentioned, really good here. Um. Yeah, Rift of Worlds. And then, as you can see, he works here. And then you see Riley. So Riley is obviously going to be your third. Let's see. Mine's not there. Should I post mine? <laughs> oh, never mind. That's Necropolis. I thought I thought someone went Tricaru on the Wind Beast. I was like, what? Here, I'll, I'll post my team on the thing off video. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I helped you guys with this guy. Um, and have, have, a good, have a good day. I hope you guys have a good sleep tonight. Have the most comfortable sleep you can ever sleep. Go to bed early. Drink water. Do something. But uh, whatever it is, have it accompanied by good night. See you guys next time. Peace.